everyone you're yeah, welcome back to ng styles organic beauty tips so today i'll be showing you how to make hibiscus flower glycerate i know i have a lot of video of how to extract um, herbs plants and roots on my channel but i still have people come to ask me how to extract their um, plants flowers and um, roots so here i'll be showing you how to make hibiscus flower um, glycerate i call this glycerate because we'll be using only glycerin to extract this so right there i have about 12.74 grams of hibiscus dried flour and you will also need a clean jar a clean sterilized or sanitized jar and you also need a vegetable glycerin okay so this um is so easy because um all you are using is just these two ingredients i just showed you and here we don't need any preservative because uh, we are using glycerin which is a self uh, preserved um, ingredient okay but and again i am using dried hibiscus um, flour if you are using fresh hibiscus flour you may need some preservative okay to extend the shelf life of your uh, of your glycerate or your extract so all you need to do is just add the flour into the jar into the clean jar and then you top it up with the glycerin the vegetable glycerin as you can see here so um, as you top you stir Take a clean um, sterilized or sanitized um, spoon. I'm using my lab spoon. So use it and um, stir it properly. You don't need anything dirty here. Make sure everything you are using here is clean because we are not going to use preservative here. Okay? Yeah. And make sure the uh, flower or plants you are using is very dried. You understand you don't need any moisture in this recipe so as you stir you top up um, more glycerin depending the amount you are making here I'm making about 400 grams of um, glycerate okay hibiscus glycerate so I stir and I top it up to get to the 400 gram I already know because I've been <laughs> I've been doing this I know the amount already so stir it properly and make sure the um, flour the dried uh, flour is properly uh, is properly emerged or soaked in the glycerin then after that um you're just gonna uh, cover this um, jar and um, keep this in a a dark place in a dark warm place okay you don't need to heat this because I'm, i want to extract it i'm using um 100 cold uh, method here so some people heat their glycerin before doing this that is if you, you can heat your glycerin before doing this if you want to use it immediately that is if you're in a hurry to use this glycerate you you you, will, you can heat your um glycerin okay heat it you heat your glycerin in a medium low heat before adding this to it okay but this i am not using it now because i still have um the ones i've made earlier that i'm using so this what i do here i like to do the cold process so once i see that the ones i'm using is getting half i make another one because before I've, uh, i'm done using that this one will be ready i leave this in a dark warm place for four weeks okay so next what you're going to do is label it you need to label it to know when you make this and when it's going to be ready so that's what i'm doing here so i'm going to label this like write the date 
the date that's the day i made it and i write the day is going to be ready it helps to remind because i make a lot of extracts i have my extract <laughs> shelf <laughs> i make all the extracts i use in my in my in my uh, formulation I'm, i like to do them myself as you all know so i'm gonna write the date and then write the name in your label what you will write is as uh, as a new if you are if this is your first time of making this you need to write the date of the day you made it and the day is going to be ready for you to use and then write the name of the product inside like now this is hibiscus um glycerate so write hibiscus glycerate and then you all have to include also is it only glycerin did you use that is with 100% glycerin or did you use 70 30 glyc uh, extract or did you make 50 50 i'm going to show you how to make 50 50 extract in my next video but this is um glycerate so it's made with 100% vegetable glycerin okay so you have to label it for your own good label it like i said keep it in a warm dark place and shake it every day or every other day okay until it's ready i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in my next video Bye bye